Josie has the good fortune of having many green spaces within the city limits, and the Joburg Zoo is one of the most family friendly. The zoo held a festival of lights earlier this month, offering humans an unusual and entertaining nocturnal experience. Let's take a look at the highlights. Growing up, I've always had a passion for animals, and I've spent a number of years volunteering at conservation projects around South Africa. One that's always stood out for me was the Johannesburg Zoo, and they've made a couple of new additions, including their holiday offering, the Festival of Lights. Established in 1904 and covering some 55 hectares, the Johannesburg Zoo is home to more than 3,000 permanent residents. Korea met up with spokesperson Jenny Mudley for some background details on what the zoo has to offer. Jenny, how are you? Well, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us here at the Joburg Zoo. Thank you for having me. It's probably one of my favourite spots in Johannesburg, but I haven't had a chance to visit in the last couple of years. Tell me a little bit more about the zoo and some of its developments. Well, we are on our 115th year. We basically have 334 species, over 3,000 specimens, and the Joburg Zoo is considered one of the best outdoor experiences in the city of Joburg. We're here at our rhino enclosure. We have two white rhinos and we have a black rhino. You've also got a few new additions to the Johannesburg Zoo. Our tiger mummy, Ganesh, has had four cubs. And of course, we've got the animals of the Amazon and I'd like to show that to you. Well, I'd love to see it. So we're here at the animals of the Amazon. This is one of the latest exhibits. There are lots of reptiles, the yellow bow constrictors. As you can imagine, the children that come here are just absolutely adored. And they love to see the big snakes. These are rare species from both the South and Northern Americas. This here is one of the biggest freshwater aquariums in the country. Why the decision to include this in the exhibition? For us, it's very important to show a variety of animal species, but it also gives people an ocean experience in an urban setting right here in the heart of Joburg. So Jenny, one of the features that you mentioned was your tigers. I'd absolutely love to see them. They're just over a year old, and as you can imagine, they already full-blown tigers. <laughs> well, let's have a look. These Siberian tigers are fairly rare and endangered. We're yet to name them. They're four girls. They will form part of an exchange program. How long do the tigers stay with you before they go on this exchange program? Generally, just over a year, but it's extremely important that we find the right partners. We'll need to work with this WASA accredited member, hopefully to increase the gene pool of the tigers across the globe. So one of the things that I'm looking forward to is a new addition to the Joburg Zoo, the Festival of Lights. It's set to bring holiday cheer to the city of Joburg. We know that many people leave the city. So yes, we're going to keep you entertained and keep you right here at home this holiday. The Joburg Ballet Company dancers were rehearsing in preparation for their performance on the festival's entertainment program. Ian, how did you put the program together? It's the fest of time and around the world, all ballet companies are doing the Nutcracker. We're only doing an extract out of the whole ballet, so it's about 25 minutes that we've put together. You are not only showcasing your principal dancers, but dancers of all ages. We also have the Joba Ballet School, our development program, and we wanted to show the community that they can be a part of our productions as well. And it's so important to give our youth the goals to aspire to become beautiful dancers. Tell me, why did Joburg Theatre decide to get involved with the Joburg Zoo on this project? We wanted to create a programme that is fun for family. That's what we're all about at Joburg Theatre, community inclusion, social cohesion. So something that would be applicable and adaptable for everybody, from your young to your old, even to your toddlers. We thought, why not take it to the Johannesburg Zoo? The lights are officially on. Families are starting to gather and the festivities are getting underway. You can definitely feel the magic in the air and I think I'm going to sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, I would want to take this opportunity to welcome you all the launch and the celebration of the Festival of Lights in the city of Joburg.
we really enjoyed this experience. It was stunning. The experience is really cool, especially for my son. I'll definitely be coming back. There's a lot more to see and a lot more to experience. The Festival of Lights at Joburg Zoo really is the perfect way to end off the year. So bring the family and enjoy the festivities. From myself, I wish you all the best for 2020. Thank you.